Okay, so I just did the second shipment to Arkansas for donation with some face masks. Yay. Just shipped that out. That cost like five bucks for that one. Yeah, the previous one was like 30 um, to ship. But anyway, um, that'll get them some more help. I got another shipment to do after that, but those were already ready. So I shipped those out. And uh, let's see what they do today. Sorry? Yes, sir. Oh, you know how to make it. Yeah. Thank you. That was pretty good. I need Okay, so, um, boy, it looks like it's going to rain any second. It's 83 degrees right now. I went over the Tom Thumb. I got three bad gallons of milk over there. I drink a gallon of milk a day all my life. And I got off the Coke, man. I was I was a bad Coke kid for years. I love Coca-Cola. Um, I used to drink it all the time, but uh, it's really fattening. So much sugar in it, it's really hard on your teeth. Um, and uh, my porcelain fillings are darn expensive. So, um, I finally have pretty much got off that Coke just every once in a great while, maybe once a month, I'll have a Coke with, a, with ice in it. But, uh, I drink a gallon of milk a day, every day, and, uh, I feel so much better, too. Um, I guess I'm getting less sugar tolerant nowadays. This devil around. I don't want to go there. I'm going to have to go to this mix them up parking lot. The old Cheers Pub is over here in the back. Okay, cheeky baby, why don't you turn? Dude, I can see you, I'm behind you. Alright, let's roll. Let's see if we can figure this one out. Finger it out, man. Just watch me. Yes, there's two of us behind him. Um, restaurants have opened down here uh, but they've spread their seating out um, but there's still a ton of to go I mean DoorDash is flying high that's for sure
charge me for the extra stuff. I've been going through my receipts and noticed that this dollar store over here has been charged my extra fee on like every purchase for literacy that I did not agree to. says no 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 and they think the twelve hundred dollar deposit is gonna fix everything it's not it's absolutely not and uh, and I think it was Ohio I was reading today they have postponed evictions another two months and, and so now there's landlords suing. They're suing the courts because they won't hear of cases for another couple months. And in the meantime, they haven't got any rent in like almost six months. And that's not fair because, um, you know, most landlords borrow on their property to buy other properties, kind of like playing the game Monopoly. So that hurts, you know, if you can't keep your bills. What if you have, you know, a complex with 100 units and you're getting zero rent? That's not fair. And, and really, the government should pay for all of that. They should be paying everybody's rents. Everybody should have got rent vouchers. And all this government money they have for fighting wars when they could be saving people. Because it's really hard, I mean... For people to just stop the world and not work and a, a lot of people aren't back to work that's what's so sad not everybody's back to work not everybody got a corona paycheck trust me and as of may it was like 1.8 million is all the checks they had made out there's a whole lot more people in the world than 1.8 million you know what i mean united states government i've never believed in it anyway shame. And now everybody's tearing up stuff and setting stuff on fire because black guys did. Because I don't know what. But, I mean, it's not going to bring them back. That's the problem. Destroying stuff's not bringing them back. Go through the legal system and do what you got to do to prove your point. Don't go out tearing other people's stuff up that aren't even responsible for that. Because like I say, it's not bringing the guy back. Do something good that makes history in the favor of that person for whatever you may believe, you know. Make your mark in this world. But don't do it by destroying somebody else's business because they're doing it all over the United States. 
all these people in the United States are not responsible for that guy's death. You know? And without even reading, I'm not a person about news. I can't stand news. I don't like negativity. I don't like depressing stuff. I spent most all my life not looking at the news. I hate it. It doesn't have anything good to say and it worries you to death. You know? I always had the philosophy since I left home at 15 and a half. If it didn't happen in my backyard, I wasn't worried about it. You know? But it's really, really sad, some of the stuff that goes on. Well, I gotta get some more shipping envelopes over here. And they got a really cheap, like, quarter sale on the clothes today. <laughs> I got a real nice gown the other day and some really cool pants. They're real cute. So, I'll see you guys in a bit.